Main this page. conference will now be recorded. Yeah. Yeah. Today's date. No, all the way. Okay. So, any questions on yesterday's class? Can burn. Mm. No, I don't. We, I don't have any any question about Kanban. Well, we finished Kanban, I believe. Is that right? Wasu? Yeah, correct. Wasu? Correct. Oh, yeah. Okay, not, uh, it's not lengthy, but it's a uh, uh, it's a three or four transition code. So, correct. I don't have any questions. Yeah, correct. You once you need to practice it actually. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So right. we do it. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So with this uh, actually the end to end scenarios of manufacturing is completed means if you go to any business okay any client mm -hmm. they will take any of these four one is we discuss the pp mm -hmm. another thing is pppa this is uh, discrete mm -hmm. and this is process Mm -hmm. And third one is repetitive. Right. Okay. And fourth one is Kanban. It is a combination of anywhere you can use. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you go to the implementation of any project, mm -hmm. you will find all these things end to end scenarios. Mm -hmm. These we have completed now. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I will cover these subtopics. Subtopics yeah. means uh, within this. What are the subtopics it can come? Mm -hmm. Okay, scenarios. Mm -hmm. yeah. In that, one of the subtopic is batch management. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any idea on what is this batch management? Batch management mostly we use in uh, pharmaceutical uh, laboratories uh, yeah. when you have. Uh, um, huge quantities of uh, tablets, capsules, or uh, any kind of so we go in a batches. So when yeah. you go in a batches, yeah. that you have to go with the batch management uh, hmm. process. Okay. We can so, use it in the inventory warehouse when you do good receipt, good issue. We oh. assign batch to batch uh, to to this good receipt. For example, we receive a lot. For example, 100 kilo of this product. Yeah. It, it is this 100 kilo, it is part of this badge. And yeah, when, we manufa when we manufacture the same, when we manufacture, it, it, it should be part of badge too. You know? Because uh, so, it's, uh, the quantity is too high and you can go and put it in a badges that correct. will help That will help it the, for inventory purpose. Yeah, correct. Okay. So do you know how to do the setup for this batch management? No. Um, more and less, yes, yeah, uh, I, we, I do it, you know. I mean, uh, but, uh, uh, setup is the, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead, Nicholas, I'm, I don't want to enter. There, there is one configuration, and then uh, there is one flag in the article, we should uh, flag, put this flag, and it shows this one is part of yeah. that. When you yeah. create the, I would say, when, as I remember a long time, when you create the material master, there is a material master. I don't know which tab is. Maybe it's a basic data one or two. There is a okay. batch management. Uh, you have to check out batch management. Then it will go in on further processing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what are the you explained is correct regarding batch management. Now mm -hmm. we will discuss how to make this batch management. Okay. Yeah. This batch management can be used in any of these processes. Uh -huh. You can use in discrete, you can use in process or repetitive also. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So now, if I am saying can be used in these three means, starting to ending of this process is same, uh -huh. but along with this batch management. Okay. Uh -huh. We will see. First is the master data. Uh -huh. Okay. So in material master, uh -huh. you need some setting. Okay. Okay. Before that, we will create class and characteristics. Mm -hmm. CT04 and CL01. Yeah, correct. Exactly. So, 
characteristics means you have the batch batch should have a some characteristics mm -hmm. when you are when you are saying this is a batch number so that means it should have some characteristics yes. for example like you are manufacturing a honda car mm -hmm. it is a batch so mm -hmm. that means batch means maybe it's a color color may be white okay and uh, you can say engine model 1000 cc okay these are its uh, characteristics of that stock with the batch mm -hmm. so those characteristic first we need to create okay then next is the class so in uh, badge management we uh, it's mandatory that we have to go uh, first uh, characteristics yeah correct i see okay then mm -hmm. next is the class okay mm -hmm. this is nothing but adding all your characteristics into class mm -hmm. that's all okay third is the material master setup mm -hmm. so what is this material master setup we will see it yeah. okay first we will create a class characteristics characteristics like color i am taking the discrete industry and color and model these are my characteristics i will add this with the z z color mm -hmm. and z model right. okay these mm -hmm. two characteristics we will create now mm -hmm. how to create we will see mm -hmm. to create these characteristics we will use transaction code ct04 mm -hmm. okay so now you know how to create class and characteristics yes yes yeah i do a lot of classification i did uh, also in uh, plant maintenance uh, in um, classification of uh, equipments and materials okay very good so the transaction code is ct04 mm -hmm. here you will enter first correct first characteristics and same transaction for create change or display also okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So click on create button. Mm -hmm. Still running system. Mr. Vasu, when you finish this yeah. uh, whole class, then uh, uh, desperately we will miss you a lot. Oh, thank you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so here, description you can put uh, car, Honda, yeah. yeah, car, color. Yeah this is the description of this one and then here this color you want to maintain a data type data type means values how you want to maintain either it is a characteristics or currency or date number time so the characteristic Correct. color is like white red all these is these so you can make it as a characteristic <laughs> okay characteristic yeah. When you select that characteristic type, it will ask you the number of characteristics, maybe mm -hmm. a 10 characteristics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then you need to go to the values. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, what are the colors you are manufacturing? You need, you can maintain that values. Mm -hmm. Okay. So white. example like white, white. Mm -hmm. and it's a description also, you can say white color for the car black black color okay so maybe a red red color so these are the three colors we are manufacturing this model silver okay. yeah. silver yeah. okay these are the four values we are maintaining you can enter these four characteristics and save it this is how to create characteristic okay yeah yeah i'm saving it now another characteristic like model z model enter that 
and click on create button yeah same thing car model yeah. honda car model mm -hmm. so model maybe it is model is like correct uh, characteristic okay ten. so you can say 10 characteristics and values mm -hmm. okay what are the models we have a uh, honda have civic. civic civic yeah civic honda city city and amaze is there honda amaze, amaze. okay maybe Honda Civic, uh, Honda City, Honda Homage. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are the example three models. You can enter the values and save it. Any questions? Clear? No. Yeah. Okay. So these, whatever you are enter the characteristics, we will add these everything into a class class is nothing but a group of characteristics mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. group of characteristics and you need to maintain this with a one class type mm -hmm. class type that mm -hmm. is 0 to 3 for batch management it is a class type is 0 to 3 this mm -hmm. batch management or it is called the classification this classification mm -hmm. you will use in a different areas mm -hmm. classification means combination of characteristics and class you will use in a different areas like in batch management and in uh, material material purchasing you will use it that is called the material class and you will use in sales that is called the variant class you mm -hmm. will uh, use in work center that is sorry work center class and you will use in plan plant maintenance those all these are the different areas you will use the class ma uh, classification mm -hmm. so whenever you are using that uh, in respect to areas we will differentiate with the class type mm -hmm. okay so this class type is 0 to 3 for batch management yeah and to create class we need sales, to use the transaction code CL01. CL01. correct yeah. exact mm -hmm. now i am going to the cl01 So class, I can say car. Mm -hmm. Okay, Z car class. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the type, as I told you, explain you type class type. Okay, no. you can yeah. see these mm -hmm. are the different class types based on the application we will use. Okay. So which one was 23? 23 is batch. name is batch. Batch, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So select that batch and uh -huh. click on create button create. so this is very simple master data mm -hmm. enter first the description mm -hmm. okay honda car class mm -hmm. okay and straight away you can go to the characteristics but uh, tab and here you need to enter what are the characteristics you have created like Z color and Z model. Okay, what are the characteristics you want to use in this class you need to enter and press but enter. These but these uh, characteristics are already we created, right? Correct. So that if is you the reason drop down, you will, you will find over there, right? Yeah if you want to know what are the characteristic means its uh, values you can yeah. select and here is the button is the display values yeah in the bottom if uh -huh. you click this one it will show you the value section yeah you can see right okay mm -hmm. okay now is it clear any questions yeah yeah okay directly you can click on save button mm -hmm okay so we have created characteristics we created the class yeah now the third step is material master here what are the things we are going to create i will show you the differences yeah. mm01 okay. mm is a transaction code 
-hmm. and we will use the material mm -hmm. okay uh, i think honda car only i am creating because this material is not there in 317 uh, Honda car we already created before, but that is not created in uh, double seven double seven plant. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> mm, okay, it won't come, but I will make a Honda car one. Okay, material yeah, code. Yeah. yeah. So I am entering the material code Honda underscore car one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And industry is same mechanical and material is first mm -hmm. okay and you can copy all the values from another material code honda underscore yeah, honda, car. Honda car, yeah. okay mm -hmm. press enter mm -hmm. and here if you want to use batch management first mm -hmm. thing is you need to maintain this in a classification view classification yeah so okay. the material uh, management when you do the badge management only we have to add the classification in the uh, in the organization level correct okay. okay you need to add first thing is a Class. batch classification. classification yeah okay so you can select a batch classification and press enter mm -hmm. and this is a plan double seven double seven i am copying from triple zero one that is fine okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. our description is same mm -hmm. and you can go to the class question view yeah. okay here you enter whatever the class we created here yeah if you drop down i think that will you can yeah if you, oh, one minute one minute here when mm -hmm. you select this view it is coming as class type 001 mm -hmm. okay but we have created this class is 023 two, so two, click two, this three. button yeah Please uh, click this button and select 23 the yeah. batch. Batch, yeah. batch. Yeah. Okay. Then mm -hmm. you can find from here. Class. Yeah. You can search. You can see Z car underscore class. Class. Now, which one will you want to use? Z car underscore class. This is we created Honda car class. Yeah. Select it and yeah. press center okay so here you can see what are the characteristics we have it came here yeah on the current model yeah if you see uh, here as a drop down you can see yeah if you want to uh, select anyone white black whatever yeah here we won't select because this is a mass data when you are manufacturing you know whether you manufacture white car or red car mm -hmm. that time we will put it okay yeah so is it clear nicholas any questions yeah yeah perfect yeah no okay issue. thank you so thank in material master mm -hmm. what we did is first thing um, add class in classification view mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. in classification view second thing is so now then remaining things are same you don't require to day change anything okay mrp1 mrp2 what about the badge management yeah i'm coming coming oh. mrp3 much oh, okay that's different okay. type yeah mrp4 mm -hmm. okay these are common in mm -hmm. work scheduling view mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. here you can see batch management I this see. is very important thing you need to tick mark this batch management mm -hmm. okay reason if you tick mark this one only system will create a batches otherwise it won't create batches. it won't create here yeah. yeah okay and one more thing is once you activate this you cannot remove after transactions i'm sorry say again once you if we activate this one mm -hmm you cannot remove this tick if you did some uh, uh, some transaction transaction means you created an order or you created a gr so after that you don't want this yeah. means you cannot remove 
I see. But uh, if you not create the transition, and mm. but you can come back to change mood, then you can change it, right? Yeah, that is okay. Fine. Mm. Before doing any transactions, you can change it. You cannot change. It. Yeah. Yeah. Once you created any transactions like purchase order or sales order or production order GR, we uh -huh. cannot do it. You cannot yeah. reverse it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. So this is the second point you need to do with batch management. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. batch management check mark mm -hmm. in work scheduling. Okay. Mm -hmm. This batch management check mark you will see in two, three, four, two, three views also. Purchasing view and sales view also you can see. Wherever you keep this uh, batch management act to, it is fine. Uh, okay. Is this batch management uh, in HANA? They change in uh, work scheduling, and before that, means long time ago, it was in a uh, uh, basic one or basic two data, or classification basic. data. Classification, it won't be. I never see that. I see. Generally, it is there in purchasing and sales, mm -hmm. and you will find in somewhere else also plan data or something. I see. But yeah. work scheduling view, it is there in ECC also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you can save it. We don't okay. do the uh, any uh, production version or anything. Yeah, I am coming back. I will come yes. back. This means. Yeah, I'm sorry. Materials. Just double check. Uh, just double check. Uh, is a flag for the batch management. It is the same any any in any view. Is that right? You said purchasing Correct. or sale. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no Correct. problem. Thank you. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. Save it. Okay. This material is now saved. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a minimum setup you need as a separately you want to do a, ma a batch management. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if you want to do this as a transactions in the discrete manufacturing, you mm -hmm. need other master data also. Means you want to run this batch management is working or not. So you need to run means you need all the master data which you required in um, in discrete manufacturing, everything is required. Specific to batch management, you read you need only these three master data. But you want to run the scenario mm -hmm. in discrete manufacturing, you need other master data like BOM, you need work center, you need you need routing, and you need production version. Yeah, that's the uh, same uh, as we did before, you know. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so I will create all these now. Mm -hmm. First thing is I am extending Honda car mm -hmm. component tire to this mm -hmm. plant. Yeah. Raw material. Yeah, yeah I am changing it. R O H. Yeah. <coughs> so I am just copying this material from 301 to here. Mm -hmm. Just I copied. Mm. Now I will create BOM Honda Car One in double seven double seven plant. Mm -hmm. You says one. one. So item category L and component is Honda tire. Yeah. You need five tires. Fine. Okay, and save it. BOM is over. Now create a work center. We have work center already. Already it is there. Okay, I am going to the routing. Uh -huh. CH01. Go here. One and four. This everything is common because mm -hmm. if you understood your uh, business process in these three, all sub process means you, you know what is the starting and ending. Only specific to this one, you will uh, mm -hmm. practice it. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay, WC001 mm -hmm. description assembling. Mm -hmm. 
Tire. You will maintain, yeah, assembling, you will maintain the hours here. Mm -hmm. That's all. I am putting only one operation and okay, I can do save it. Mm -hmm. So now production version, go to the MM02 and create production version. Mm -hmm. Click this production version. So if you practice everything very perfect. Uh, can you can yeah. you go back to MM02, please? Yeah. Mm, no, go all the way back. Actually, means uh, you go transaction code MM02. I have one question. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Now you click. Click. Now, sometimes when uh, a consultant or whoever is working. Oh. And suppose the one field is not here because this is oh. already set up. I oh. want to put the uh, one field here. How I can oh. do this? Where you want to put in the view? One of the view you want to put. I want to put the, the data one basic. Da this is basic data one, basic data two, and oh. then uh, I want to put the, for example, purchasing. So how I can oh. do this? Okay. In this case, example, there is no purchasing view is there. Okay. Right. Uh, this is FG Metal, sales view is not there. Okay. Right. right. So now uh -huh. you can go to the MM01 create. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. You enter the Honda car once again, that material. Uh, and then other material. Okay. okay. And uh -huh. press enter. So, uh, if Okay, so you want to earlier sales view is not there, correct? Yeah, you want to create sales view. You select now sales. Yeah, only but, sales. Uh, but the material type is different now. No, 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 fert only. Honda car we created with fert. Okay, now fert is there. Okay, but how come the before, before oh. it was not showed up and now it's showing up? Now this is MM01 transaction code. Earlier it is MM02. Okay, okay. So okay. that's why it's MM0, yeah. MM01 once again, you mm. come here and select okay. those views okay. and maintain right. the data. Here. Yes, yes. Okay, then you will, uh, mm. you can see the data. You will maintain here. What mm -hmm. is the mandatory fields? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maintain. Okay, and save it. Now, if you go to the MM02, now the sales views will come. You can mm -hmm. see sales views are there. So, this is extending of views. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Okay, I'm going here. Now, click on production version, maintain production version. Mm -hmm. Same like we did before. Yes, exactly. So everything, this, everything you know, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you understood perfectly the main process, these sub processes is yeah. only yeah. small, Probably. small things you, you need to learn and you can yeah. practice it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have enter all the details, click on mm -hmm. check. Mm -hmm. I just, just like this green. Yeah, green, yeah. Continue, continue, continue and save it. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. It says batch management here also. Yeah, that's fine. I yeah, saw yeah. It. It will the be batch there. management was uh, checked out. Yeah. So it means uh, here yeah. you can see batch management and I think other views in sales also maybe there somewhere. Uh, sales. 
Yeah, here you can yeah, yeah. see. Sales general yeah, also same. Yeah. yeah. If you open the purchasing, it will be there in the purchasing also. Okay. So in material yeah, master. To have, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. So in material master, the hmm. badge management showing at least uh, uh, three or four places. Correct. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we have a batch management plant. Usually, you have only the first flag batch management. Why we don't yeah, we have that a, is that is not there in ECC. That is in S4. Okay, got it. Okay, so is it something extra? Yeah, extra. So actually, the batch management is at the client level. Okay, that means if one material is batch managed in one plant, it is batch yeah. managed in other plant also. Oh. Okay. But in S4, you can differentiate. Means you can make plant wise also batch management. If you remove that default tick mark plant, that example, this is automatically will come. You can see batch manager plant level. Once you activate this button, this automatically will come. If you remove this one, it is at client level. If you use the same material in other plants also, it is batch managed. Oh, great. Huh? Put this tick mark, it is only batch managed in this plant. 777. Seven, seven. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So now, is it clear what we created, what we did here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, testing. So for testing, first we need to, a discrete process we will follow. Okay. We will create. PARs. Yeah, and V61. Yes. Okay. <coughs> and then run MRP. Mm -hmm. And then third step convert. Production order. Convert to production order. Correct. Mm -hmm. Then the fourth is confirmation. Construction to <coughs> then fifth step is you will do the goods movements. Goods right. receipt. Right. Okay. These are the main steps we will follow. The transaction right. codes is like MD61, MD01N. And you can use this for MD04, confirmation CO15. This is MIGO. Okay. Right. So now MD61, mm -hmm. Honda car. We don't use uh, ME11, right? ME11 is not recorded. That is info record for raw material. Yeah. Okay. We valid requirements. We valid requirement. uh, requirement should be what? 20? Yeah, okay. No, this strategy group is make, make to order. Make to order, so yeah. To order so means it is expecting the sales order. Yes, yes. So I'm changing this into the make to stock. Make okay. to stock, yeah, that's why. That's why. Okay. <coughs> so, yeah. MD61. I'm just putting in a week. No problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. So week wise, maybe a, this is a 10 and this is a 20. Just a two I'm maintaining it. Mm -hmm. And save it. Mm -hmm. I'm running the MRP MD01N. Yeah. Zero one yeah. Three, one. Two, okay. Three. One or three is fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Generate. So MRP is over. Mm -hmm. MD04. We'll go to the MD04. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have a planned orders. Yeah, now I have a, one question here mm -hmm. because uh, basically I am clear everything is fine, but sometimes mm -hmm. when it says independent requirement, independent requirement, plan order, plan order, plan order. And mm -hmm. what is independent requirement? LSF, LSF, what is this? Uh, that is the so, category as they be defined actually if it is independent requirement this category of This it will show because it won't have any number 
if mm -hmm. you see if we if you have a sales order it will have a number sales mm -hmm. order number something will be there okay but mm -hmm. this independent requirement will not have any number so it is do we have a, with the cat do you have a safety stock yeah i think it is copied from other material safety stock is maintained okay and we can see mrp2 here 10 is the safety stock yeah to fulfill that safety stock one more planned order is created that is the reason you can see three planned orders because mm -hmm. safety stock two independent requirements okay mm -hmm. okay now plan so order I will convert, yeah one of this one i am converting to production order mm -hmm. okay yeah i'm just uh, i'm doing the release as well release mm -hmm. and save and save yeah yes refresh it mm -hmm. So this is your production release, order. Re release. Released. Mm -hmm. Production order. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next is your confirm CO15. Can we confirm together all of them or no? Yeah. Otherwise, I'm confirming it. I mean, you, we cannot do the confirm all together. Yeah, I'm doing the all together only. You mean to say all together means all orders or uh, all orders? Yeah, at the same all time. orders you can do. I told you the mass. Oh, yeah, it's mass. mass. Oh, yeah. Fine. Okay. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. So here you can see, right? Right, right. Okay, mass you can use. Yes, okay. So now we are doing individual, yeah. Okay, see you. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I uh, I CO15. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so in the CO15, this production is 10 quantity. You can enter or you, you can enter whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And check the goods movements. Okay. One so more question. Uh, the, can you go back one more time? Yeah. One. Sorry. Now, the final confirmation, this is not uh, necessary that we can change the radio button here. Yeah, it is not a mandatory, but it is good to make it as a final confirmation. Okay. All right. System will not stop you, but mm -hmm. always it is better to keep as a conf final if it is a final. I see. Okay. Otherwise, it's the status will say you partially confirmed only, even though you confirmed the total quantity. Yeah, but when you uh, did not change it, so I was uh, thinking maybe yeah. system will take it. No. No, no, it won't take. Okay. Mm. So here, go to the goods movements. This is a tire component. I think we don't have the stock, so it will throw you. Kogi mm -hmm. error. I'm just posting it. Mm -hmm. So in the bottom, you can see failed means the stock is not there. Okay. Yeah. So confirmation is completed. Now we will do the Miko. You, you don't want to go to uh, other materials? Yeah, Neo, you know that. Hmm? Correct. I mean, you don't want to go to plan or other two materials? Yeah, two in MD, MD04, two orders, yes. No, not required. This is an example I'm showing it to you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing the MIGO for this production order. So mm -hmm. how batch will come, we'll see now. I and see. press execute. Mm -hmm. No valid order items. Oh, sorry. Item exist. Yeah. Goods receipt only. Why? Because the good issue will never work out. Yeah, goods receipt only. But the, it is showing why. Yes, there is a red over there. That's why it's giving right here. That's correct. It is saying no items. Me go. Okay. 
okay some issue in the order okay let me i'm opening the production order now co02 goods receipt here this tick mark is missed i don't know how okay this tick mark is missing okay that is the reason it is not allowing the but actually this tick mark should come automatically okay I'm but when you it. did the co0 co01 mm. then uh, is this trade mark was there earlier or no yeah it is there automatically it should come automatically yeah. i don't know for it's why it is missed okay yeah i'm just saving it okay now one second i'm going to miko mm -hmm. enter execute now all the data has come okay now mm -hmm. here you can see batch one more tab has come i see okay. first mm -hmm. enter the storage location where is the storage location quantity mm -hmm. material is there where down down there why storage location is not there uh, badge is coming storage is uh, gone oh, okay we'll see maybe yes. it's in a well, maybe it's in a badge uh, badge when you click the badge maybe a storage location come up okay here mm -hmm. you can see batch uh -huh. okay so classification can, so can you click the oh classification click this classification mm -hmm. So here you can see batch number automatically generated 25 is your batch number mm -hmm. here you need to select now you are doing the gr for which car maybe mm -hmm. a black color you can White. select a black okay black i've selected and mm -hmm. model model is like maybe a honda city mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and okay so while manufacturing it will ask you the characteristics you need to enter these characteristics mm -hmm. Okay. So that means this batch is with the black color and it is a model is city. Yeah. Okay. You click the next screen button and then save it. Click OK and post. It should be is that oh, I... let me post. Store location is uh, right there. Uh, or different okay. chart of accounts. If you, if you if you go back, I will. I I saw it. Where? Uh, here, here, right here. Here. No, no, here, saw. up, up. Okay. Honda car. You go all the way. A store location is right here. Here, but it is grayed out. You need to may enter somewhere. Yeah. It is saying grayed out. Correct. Gray out is uh, on the top, but down there is a uh, white. Oh, this not working. Yeah, so I don't know why storage location. Maybe somebody something has did. Storage location should come actually. Hmm. Okay, so this is actually the process while yeah. doing the GR. Okay, hmm. and it is when you post it, it is saying some company code and area as different chart of accounts yeah could be that's if I somebody, somebody changed this chart of accounts again mm -hmm. company code and controlling area how different chart of accounts somebody has changed it yeah is it clear yes so how to do this one batch management nicholas yeah. any questions oh it's clear yeah perfect yeah so only we have to assign it in the good receipt yes correct okay only the, the 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 only the the difference in is the the batch uh, tab will come extra on this and correct. also showing the batch number correct exactly yeah okay mm -hmm. so let me give or you can go right or you can do it the other material the second one which plan order we did not do it if you can do it maybe the 
plan, maybe the storage location will come up. No. Let me give two minutes whether I can do something chart of account. Not this one. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah, different controlling area. Seven. Uh, no, no, actually, no. actually, the guy he set up the enterprise with the seven seven. Everything seven seven. Yeah, yeah, correct only added company code data. Check. Yeah, just I'm checking where is that. Uh, controlling uh, means. Uh, yeah. Controlling is uh, controlling has a different, a separate tab, in the finance. Okay, yeah, that's the chart of account. Somebody changed C A I N now. Earlier it is actually. If you drop down to see, maybe. Uh, no, it won't change. It is not changing now. I think it is not changing. It is grayed out. I don't know how they made it. C A I N because the fiscal variant he changed from V4 to V3 here. Here, mm. yeah, yeah, the, it was V4, so, I think. Okay, but even though this is not changing, somebody has changed everything hmm. for practice purpose. Yeah, so v, V4 is not there, somebody deleted it. Yeah, you cannot change because uh, you are a different user. That's why, right? Hmm. <laughs> okay. So this is the process actually. Okay, I don't know. Any questions? Is it clear? Yeah, very clear. Okay. It's okay, uh, but now we will have an issue to reproduce all the other uh, uh, scenarios, GR. you know? Correct, correct. Oh, man. We have yeah. to have another company. I think. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we need to check another company. Somebody, somebody mix up the company code with the controlling area, I think. Correct, correct. Correct. Exactly. I'm just checking whether any one MP51 any movement types has happened from yesterday and today. Okay. So, but this is the class for today. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes. like this, we will uh, discuss the subtopics. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, if you don't have any questions, I will close the class and we will. How, how many? How many? Sub how many subtopics we have, Mr. Vasu? Okay. Okay. So, good question. So, actually, you are asking about the long term planning? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, and how many uh, subtopics you have? We have yeah, yeah, long, term. Long, long term planning. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Mr. Long -term Vasu, planning. did you remember that I sent you an email? because uh, the employer they are trying to oh, okay, okay. they are trying to when they advertise the job so mm -hmm. uh, so the whole pro okay. uh, production so, planning okay. they are not using you know some they are using for long uh, yeah. long term planning some they are using for demand mm -hmm. planning and some they are using for uh, some other purpose so, so most of the companies yeah, yeah. they do yeah. use the whole uh, production planning yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have some five minutes time. So let me see your mail now. So what are yeah, and, uh, it, it, we can cover? We'll see it now. Okay. Mm -hmm. The phone is breaking too. Advertise. Yeah. Okay. Is it okay now? Yeah. Okay. 
forecast planner. Somebody use yeah. forecast planner. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, and somebody using. Now, Nikos, do you have another class today? Yeah, yeah, I have another class. Yes, exactly. But it is okay. pushed to 10 30. It has been oh, after okay. half hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. yeah. You're so, asking something, yes, tell me. By, I'm saying if the company advertise forecast planner, one, like mm. a, so mm. only they use forecast planner, he cannot work on any other applications. One minute, I'm seeing. Execute the finished goods planning process and demand planning mm. for a DED, CCA program. Mm. Prepare weekly demand forecast, manage forecast and communicate changes. Prepare item product forecast to conjugate with production, product division, sales and marketing. Gather the input information from marketing, sales into the day. Prepare weekly demand. Utilize demand planning to identify act as matter supply network plan as important this is all these topics is actually the apo 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 yeah yeah you can see mm -hmm. sap apo so we cannot do uh, apo Correct. no no man it's a different module man yeah system itself is different not s4 not ecc it is a, a apo is different okay uh is it uh, uh apo is uh, is not uh, in the ecc6 no not APO even is separate uh, it is a separate system itself you know srm crm uh -huh. yeah all these are the different systems xi po all these are the different systems sap only different system like that only for planning sap apo is a different system so this role is from that module. So how we can learn APO? No, another module, man. Yeah, another module, correct. Completely another module. How long it takes for the APO? APO is again a sub modules. I know. <clears throat> I mean, uh, if we want to learn, it's a. Uh... You can see. Let me. APO is having the other sub modules like demand plan demand demand management demand planning hmm. okay second is snp and third one is ppds fourth one is gatp fifth one is tpvs hmm. sixth one is ewm we have ewm Hmm. And you have the event management, okay? Sorry. You have all these modules in APO, okay? Whatever is asking in the the role is these two modules, mm -hmm. okay? So this now, is APO, altogether a different thing. APO stands for uh, advanced planning. Uh, yeah, advanced planning and optimizer. Optimizer. <clears throat> so this is complete look like a module like a, like a, like a pp module yeah correct each one is like a pp module demand planning is one module snp is one module so it means uh, when they advertise uh, um, forecast planning with hmm. sap P apo it means we can i cannot apply for them exactly correct it's better no yeah absolutely yeah and let's go to the different job okay so this is another one supply chain spec one mm, yeah it's a lot of companies even they don't know what is the sap they just put their own name and then yeah the actually sometimes yeah correct exactly exactly they will copy this description from somewhere and they will put all this nonsense because but the actually, you know, hr hr people are uh, so dumb and they don't know about yeah. the correct. about the um, taking technical issues and um, and sap so when they talk to somebody or any consultant, they put advertise it. And they don't yeah, know if exactly. it exists or doesn't exist. Correct. Production scheduler. Maybe this yeah. is 
Acme Industries Acme. Okay. Utilize ERP system to review master planning scheduling. Mm -hmm. Create shop floor orders. You can see this is MRP run, mm -hmm. and you will create a production orders. Mm -hmm. Schedule and monitor work schedules, mm -hmm. which and emphasize um, mission loads versus capacity. You can see this is capacity planning we discussed. Right. CM01 and CM21. Maintain uh -huh. shop floor packets, including routing and material requirements. Right. This is master data. MRP okay. and routing CO01. Yes. Use information regarding production issues, capacities, and re uh, restraint to adjust the schedule when necessary. That means mm -hmm. this is your capacity leveling. You mm -hmm. understood the issues, mm -hmm. okay, and adjust your capacity. Yeah. Like overload is there, or mm -hmm. this is a rush order you need to manufacture today. All these are the issues, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And communicate effectively with operators to gain critical information. Mm -hmm. This is a communication and get the issues, whatever they are facing. Okay. Monitor promise dates and initiate expediting as needed. This is mm -hmm. a report. Monitor dates means nothing but our COIS report. From mm -hmm. there, you find out what is actual uh, uh, production date and what is a planned date. Mm -hmm. What is the GR date? All these dates you can find, you can analyze and tell that. So it is supposed to manufacture yesterday, but it is manufactured today. Like that, you can analyze based on the report. Mm -hmm. yeah. Identify opportunities to, to improve process. Means you can identify wherever you need improvement. Mm -hmm. So this is a perfect role for your PP. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And forecast planner, I told you this is a APO. Again, you can see. I don't know. You copied maybe two times. Yeah, copied two times. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, this is something directly PP or something you put it here. Yeah, this is completely PP. This is the same exactly the whole whole syllables he put it here. Yeah, but this is including. Okay. Supplier PO collaboration, uh -huh. order confirmation, batch and quality management. He put all the modules. It is not a single module. Mm -hmm. Quality management is QM. Supplier mm -hmm. collaboration means it is a uh, SNC, another module. Okay. And WM stock transfer processing. This is a WM module. WM module. <clears throat> yeah. This is the person who work on uh, plant maintenance. Most. Yeah, plant maintenance. So he, he should know four or five modules. QM, right. PP, WM and all PM. Four all modules, the, yeah. Whatever they come under logistic, all of them. Yeah, correct. Customer environment, all these prepared technical specifications, state scripts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, th this one, they need somebody very, very, very strong on all this module. You know, it's not easy. At least yeah, uh, the person an, uh, who work at least, uh, at least, at least, I would say, on all modules under just at least no. seven, seven, eight years. Yeah. If not ten, yeah. fifteen years. Ten yeah. years. Ten yeah. years. Correct. Correct. Here, two things can happen. Maybe mm -hmm. the profile is wrongly put. That mm -hmm. is one thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because generally nobody will have all these modules until unless yeah. he is working in all these modules as a consultant, nobody will have. Yeah. But as a business user, he is working in the last 10 years as a business user, so he can learn here and there. But uh, Mr. Vasu, what 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 happened here in America? Mm. A lot of companies they are thinking that if the person is work with one mod one one two three or four modules yeah, then correct. we can hire this person because they want to save the money to don't pay correct. to the other person now correct, correct. it is very difficult that the person who work on a plant maintenance production mm. planning material management mm. and then right. sales and distribution so mm. one person he is uh, working in the in the in the company with four all modules now mm. company want to sell then he use him 
the company wants to maintain in the project uh, plant maintenance they use him how the one yeah. person can sit all day and work on all this yeah. module he's gonna be very upset or uh, yeah. you know yeah he's gonna yeah. die in after uh, two three Some months days. yeah yeah exactly so these companies they don't know that uh, yeah. it's very easy but the the each module is very huge you know correct correct exactly exactly whatever you said is correct yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. one person uh, they want to try to save the money and hire the one person yeah. and it's very difficult yeah. to work one interview yeah. i will tell you recently about a mm -hmm. month ago i went to okay. one interview for uh, uh, plant maintenance and okay. the hr lady she is asking me Mm. Um, uh, do you work on uh, uh, the inventory and how you is, uh, maintain the inventory parts and this and that? Mm. And I told him uh, that uh, this is not my module. This is material management. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and 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 she said, no, this is uh, you have to do it. I said, how I can do it is if it's not my module. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And she was uh, not satisfied, she kicked me out. So I said, okay, goodbye. You know, I how I can work about two, three modules and you just advertise only one module. Yeah. So, exactly. yeah. Okay. A lot of companies, HR companies, still they have a very different concept in their mind that yeah. SAP uh, under logistics, all modules are look like you are working on Microsoft Word. They think, yeah, they, think they think like this. But yeah, it's correct. not like yeah. Yeah, SAP is not like that. Correct, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Yes, sir. So we can okay. see tomorrow, inshallah. Yeah. Uh, correct. Tomorrow we will discuss further. So yes. Okay. Tomorrow yeah, we will okay. discuss on what uh, long term planning you say. Yeah. Correct. Okay, this is very important. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Nicholas. Thanks Thank a lot. Uh, okay. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Bye -bye. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.